Is there any more additions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those put say no. Thank you. Consent agenda, John. <coughs> Approved minutes of the regular meeting of May 10th, 2011. Approved appropriation ordinance 0517-2011 in the amount of $5,133.10 and late closing for the South Branch for May 21st, May 27th, and the 28th. Second. All those say aye. Aye. All those say no. Do we see some comments this evening? Fire Department, Michael? I don't have anything. Any questions for Michael tonight? Thank you, Michael. Mm -hmm. Marshall. Administration now. Uh, first item is the uh, job description for the part time code in which enforcement person, uh, John, <coughs> and uh, got some information from other cities and uh, looked at it, any comments or if you take any of these and modify them to. Right. 
I like the idea of the health and safety officer myself because that's what we were more worried about. Uh, was the looks of the town, not necessarily. I mean, we were worried about yards and okay. junk cars, and that's basically what this guy would be doing. And you can call it whatever you Right, you but I'm, I'm just saying this. This is the way I was thinking that we were looking not like, like this yeah. other guy where he's just running around looking for headings. Is, you know, is any of this land under your large animal wellhead protection? Where are you at now? Uh, clear down view business. Is it the same thing? Enforcing okay. that? No. no. Okay. Well, would this be something, would you be comfortable, uh, you and Jonah, taking what we have here and putting together a job description? I mean, is this, I think the, our first step was to see which way you guys want to go with this. Do you yeah. think that's, that's a good start? I think it's a great start, and I'm enjoying mm -hmm. which one is the best start. Yeah. 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 Okay, last week you instructed to have an app in the paper for it, so... We haven't added the new paper that comes out tomorrow, so we need a job description for whoever might walk in the door tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put that together tonight. <laughs> you, by the instructions that I had, yes. <laughs> the only thing that I don't know if it's clear in, in this uh, the one from Peabody is that you know. They would be this person would be responsible for sending the letters and notices. I mean, they, they talk about going to court and all that kind of stuff, but I think you might just say they're responsible for sending the letters and notices. And you could uh, limit the number of hours. That was a discussion if you're going to do that. And, uh, you know, you just put in there that's just six months. Right now, it's just, it's just a six month job, I mean, however you want to do that. So I don't know if somebody made, mentioned about limiting the hours. So. Do you have all that written down that you just said? talk about monitoring property and such, I mean, I know that you weren't wanting it all the time, you weren't wanting things patrolled necessarily, but do we need to include that, you know, they may need to have their own transportation or own form of... Well, that's the you other thing. Saying, like, you know, I had someone call me after the last meeting and, you know, thought the city owned a mule, which we don't with the record does, you know, thought to make, you know, that that would be a doable thing or something like that to drive around in, but, you know, something that Right now, we, we I drove a flatbed today because we didn't have a pickup, so you know it's just one of those times that we're it's going to be hard to well, have a spare vehicle. Are we yeah? Are we thinking we want to give them a city vehicle or we want them to have their own? That I think that should be stated that they use a vehicle or a bicycle. I guess. I, in my opinion, I think we should provide a vehicle, but I don't know if we have one. Time is going to be pretty tough. I'm not sure anyone's going to want to use their own vehicle, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, you had mentioned that you didn't want them actually out driving around all that much. Right. right. But right. still, they're going to have to make Right. They're going to have to go check on the complaints that come in. Yeah. Yeah, they're basically going to have to be undercover in a black hooded <laughs> ski mask from out of town. No one knows them. With the use of their own vehicle, then you also have, are they going to turn in mileage? Who's going to pay for the gas? And I guess, um, you know, I, are we going to expect them to log the hours or the time or, or how, you know, there's a lot that goes into that. As far as how you want to manage it, um, so I 
that's, that's why I think it would be easier if we had a vehicle that they could use when available. And that's what I'm thinking, when available. And if the vehicle's not available when they need to go check a property, then, then it's not available. And that means what? The mayor's going to come pick them up and tow them around? Well, I've I mean, plenty of vehicles sitting down there that walk them down here. But no, I know what you mean. But use their own then? No, no. Well, maybe they rearrange what they're going to do. The process, maybe they work on letters and, and then when the guys come in for break or something, they can run, do whatever. Yeah. I mean, it really is not going to take that long things. to go check on a property or to check on something. And like John said, you know, they could be working on paperwork and looking at codes or whatever they need to, you know, yeah. make sure they're right on track and stuff. And then whenever Mel comes in or whatever, then Mel could step in and say, there is a vehicle out there. I think if, and I don't know if we're going to have a set day, you know, they may have a schedule I can do this. True. You know, I and mean, we could do our best to make sure that if there is a vehicle, and if something else comes up, they can. We can kind of work around that, but I'm just saying there's times it's just not going to work, but right. other times it could. So. It probably won't be just sitting out here waiting for them. No. Yeah. If you come in, I want to, or whoever it is, wants to come in, so I need a vehicle. You know. Right. Say on Wednesday at 10 o'clock, they're going to go check properties. So I, th I, th I think we can make it work. And that's an issue we can do our best to make it work, as long as the flexibility is out both ways. Okay, council. <clears throat> so go ahead and uh, could you write? Do you want to repeat what? I guess you wouldn't necessarily have to post that. Then. Or I mean, it could be in the job description, but it would have to be in the ad. Would it? We've already put the ad in the panel, yeah. so it'll be out. It's probably in the limitary mm -hmm. So do we need to talk about a, a limit of hours? What were you guys thinking? I thought last time we talked about more than 20 hours a week. Mm -hmm. I, I would think, think that'd be more than sufficient. I think we should stick with that. Yeah, I'm good. Not as far we as the, the uh, him needing a vehicle, too. I mean, the officers are out, too. I mean, they can tell them whether that property's mowed up again. Or, and that's true. If um, they're, you know, they're instead of providing them with a vehicle, they're out already anyway. Mm -hmm. They're already paying for that car to move. So. Yeah. There he is. So, in phones? Yeah. Not a problem. Um, that way, it limits us on a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. We don't have to put somebody else on the insurance or anything like that. <clears throat> There's the ad if you want to look at what we do. Thanks. Okay. I agree with Troy. I think you ought to miss out the safety officer would be with him. To enforce the codes. The code only. No zoning regulations. Code only. No. It's right. just our ordinances. Right. It's just our code. Anything, anything else need to be added? Do you want to see the app? What else did you mention? You just thought it was a six month position. Oh, yeah. 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 Set the hours and just maybe just specify about sending the letters and notices. Everything else I think is reasonably covered. Oh. I mean, he's just going to be looking after the yards of junk cars and maybe some complaints. Yeah, in, in, in general, and if there's some homes dilapidated houses, yeah, we can look at the beverages. Yeah. That takes quite a bit of time, so I mean, that's something that can be done too. So, I mean, and that falls under that. So. And I don't know. Of course, we can discuss that. I guess in the interview, you know, person does have a little head. And, uh, when he needs his reason to, I mean, like, uh, yeah, good composure. Council said last time, I mean, we have, yeah, there's some houses that probably need some work that people can't afford. They don't need to be harassed by some, that's right, that's exactly right. Around town. And that's that's not what I'm here to, right. you know, do, but you know, also, too, I was thinking, you know, also, if um, you know, if someone would like to have a house painted and they can't afford it, you know, I didn't know if maybe the lumber yard had some paint that they wanted to sell cheap and maybe a group of kids could get together and paint. I mean, you know, we always have groups of kids at the school or whatever. Right. And community, a 
yeah, yeah, it might be a situation where we can bring some different groups together and yeah. really have a community project. And I think that would be very good for our city, for our kids to do something like that. Might be a lot of things flying in the wrong direction, but <laughs> no. <laughs> That's right. But I, you know, I just thought of that. I thought maybe that would be a good group for some kids to do. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, and I think a lot of people in our community would really appreciate that. All right. Is there anything else that needs to be added to this description? Do we need to put anything in there? Um, does it just end after six months? Or we just we just have announced. the opportunity to review that. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, I was going to say this time. I think that's, that's how we need to leave it. Just I disagree. I feel like it needs to be an ongoing thing. Some if it's if it's working. I don't know how to word it. Like that's if that's what six yeah. months. I know, but I'm saying. But I, th if, I think my position with possible, I mean, renewal of position, mm -hmm. possible renewal of position uh, upon certain conditions or... Uh, I think it would be, I think it would be good well, that we... Really, right now, on the job description itself, though, it's just about what their, their responsibilities are. I know you're putting it as a six-month position. You can always review that or change that part of it. I guess I would want to know if I were going into a job if it was going to last longer than six months. But, but you guys aren't ready to say that. that now. They know yeah, that. Say, what it says six months. Okay. That's up in the area. Yeah. At the end of six months, all of us may decide that was the dumbest thing we've done. And then if it's a good thing, then hopefully yeah. we would continue. That's right. Continue six months will get you through summer, <clears throat> in the winter, and in the winter I can't see. Won't be much for him to do anyway. I don't know. I just think to get somebody in here who's going to do a consistent job, I don't think you want to hire someone for six months and have them go find another job and then decide you need somebody for six more months and then find somebody else to do it. I think you need to be able to hire someone who can come in and who's going to want to maybe maintain with this job. And I'm not saying open it full time or for 12 months. I, I just wish, I just think to get somebody who's capable of doing a good job, there's got to be some hope that this will continue. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're going to get some flighty applicants who are here and then there and then. Not consistent. So I just think we ought to. Can we can't get back on that, that right now because it's already in the paper as six month position. All right. So well, and then where else do you want to state? I just if they come in to interview, if in the job description, that would, I just feel like that needs to be in there. But that's just me, I guess. You know, if you guys don't feel like that, that's fine. I just don't feel like we're going to get somebody who who wants to stick with it and learn and do a very good job and it, continue they, it to so keep moving forward. So what you'd like forward. to see maybe once this six-month time has passed with the 20 hours a week, what you might want to see, if I'm understanding you, it's like maybe they can maintain with 10 hours a week and they have another job and this is their second job or something like that. Is and they would watch it year-round. Yeah. Yep. I just think that if it's just six months and then three months down the road we find that we need somebody else to start in again, mm -hmm. you're going to have somebody quit and then you're going to hire somebody new and you're going to have to train them again and yeah. it's very inconsistent. If, if you put up your, you know, up to 20 hours a week, okay, and then uh, six months and possible extension or something if you want to dangle something out there to give someone you know something like with a possible extension after that period you know you can state that but if that's, I think that's not a guarantee yeah, that would be good just a possibility of it so would you rather really sit down and try and review things at five months so that 
there's time to mm -hmm. be able to. Yeah, I think you should. That way, you're not just at a cutoff and all yes. of a sudden saying, "Oops, sorry." Yeah, I mean, all the long, all the way through, I think we should just watch it and make sure you know things are going the way we'd like for them to go. I mean, probably now you could get a report each council meeting, just saying how many letters have been sent or things like that. Yeah, yes. We'll do that. You know, and as I add, of course, we can, you know, the city administrator, city superintendent, and then we'll have to change these ordinance numbers, but that's, we can do that yeah. internally, so. Yeah. And that could be, that could be part of it, that they have, have to have, uh, do you want a monthly report from this person, or every two weeks? I mean, that, just like Sonny gives you a report, mm -hmm. he could have, that could be part of their job. I think that would be very good. Mm -hmm. And you'll know what's going on. Mm -hmm. That would be very good. Every two weeks? What's up to you guys? Or every month? What do you guys once do a month? Well, if you're eliminating the number of hours, it's a part time. You know, I would say once a month is good. Because when I mean, you've good. got Sonny who's on full time, and he can, you know, they do it every week, which is fine. Or, yeah. But. Yeah, once a month would be great. Beginning of each month? Yes. So do you want them to report mm -hmm. to you, or do you want them to make a report to the team? Just to make a report. I mean, you're welcome to come to council. Right, not right. Not right. But in the job description, yeah. it's not required. So you guys are okay with us going with that? What what we put together and not need to move in that direction. Because <laughs> it'll go out to you, but it comes in tomorrow for it, so there won't be a chance for you to. So ba basically, it's just going to be kind of like the Peabody did. Mm -hmm. Right. And then With the, the changes that, we that you guys just talked about. Right. The additions. And... We'll change Peabody to St. John in yeah. the ordinance numbers. <laughs> Are we going to have awesome. to put anything in here? Oh, never mind. See it myself. Motor vehicles. Okay. we ever get you one of these? Yes, yes. Tom, okay. yes. And I have, if everybody would check and see if they have one, I did make up a couple of extra ones if anybody else. I, did I send one to your house? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you check, Jackie? Okay. Okay. That's good. That's all right. Okay, it's good to have them when people come in. So.
the ordinance? It's, no, 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 it's, it's, it's a special um, use yeah. permit that yeah. has the stipulations yes. selected yes. to the, the special use. Yes. Uh, the planning commission board of, board of zoning appeal. Let me get <laughs> Matt, there is a name right here. Matt, and uh, uh, this is what was worked up, and uh, Richard has agreed to this. And Richard's here if you have any questions on this. Uh, basically, what he's wanting to do and uh, the regulations, and uh, that he's, he's agreed to, to go by. So. Are you okay with it? I'll make it work for now. I guess I'm not understanding why they will only allow you to have deer stands for up to 30 days. I would think you'd be wanting to store them. Well, they're not for storage. It's they're for not for storage. It's the big tall ones, you know, that are mm -hmm. broken, laying over by your house. Yeah. And I just, I've been busy and I haven't had time to get them fixed and okay. have. So I just, to make this thing work, I said I would try to get them in, get them fixed and, you know, back out the door in 30 days. So, you know, I'll make it work. Okay. There was a concern of, of what, you know, there's a specified storage area and Richard agreed to a fence, and so there was concern from neighbors there of, of what was going to be there, and that was one of the, the items of concern, and he's willing to, to, to do that, and that's why there was a specified uh, time on that. So. Have to have a fence to cover up lawnmowers and a tractor and a trailer? Screen, yes. Okay. I'll move to approve the special use permit for Rich Blake's lead set forth by the Zoning of Appeals in the City of St. Second. 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 Any more discussion? Yeah, we're going from residential to what? No. We're not changing. Special use. Special use. Special use. Zoning will not change. It's just this is just a special use. And those are the, the items that he's agreed and it was like I say there was a lot of discussion about it. It took two two meetings to, to get this worked out. So uh, yeah, the zoning will change stay the same. Okay. Does, uh, does the special use permit permit or permit uh, outside storage? Just what it says right there. He's the outside storage in that 30 by 60 area, and it'll be screened on on the south side. So that's he can do uh, outside storage within that area. So just the south side is going to be fenced or have a fence on. Just just the one side, yes. It's just a site barrier. Thank you. 
Mr. John and Susie. Just as an FYI, um, Jubilee plans are well on the way. We've got things just about all ironed out. We have definitely need some more volunteers from our community. So anybody that's interested out there in TV land that would like to help out, we have small spots and bigger spots. So anybody can find a space. We'll find a place for you to help with Jubilee. Um, other than that, two weeks we'll have a really good time. Even if the weather's nice. Like Even if the weather's not, we're still going to have a good time. Right, guys? <laughs> That's true. Okay, thanks, Sean. Do business. Mayor's appointments. Municipal judge is Emerson Schultz. City attorney, Don Attenberger. The city health officer, Doris Tompkins. Appointees every year. Planning Commission Board. Wait a minute, I probably should be these separate. No, you can go ahead and zoom all on. Planning Commission Board of Zoning Appeals, Phil Staub has a two year term. Mary Pashka, a two year term. Lawrence Gillespie, a two year term. Garda Mansell, a three year term. And Dorothy Stites, a three year term. I'll move to approve the mayor's appointments. Are you done? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say aye. Thank you, Council. Number two, large animal wellhead production. It was sponsored by me, but I think that Mel maybe has some information. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'd, uh, I spoke with Ned Marsh before about this and probably maybe the other day, and then I guess, you know, with our nitrate issues, uh, if there's an interest in maybe re-looking at our large animal areas in relationship to our wells. Uh, Ned was recommending that probably a uh, 500 feet downstream, in other words, traditionally everyone looks at the water here and it travels to the uh, northeast, north northeast, and so a down, downstream uh, area would be 500 feet, and this would be kind of a elliptical shape uh, zone and then it would go out to 2,000 feet upstream. So, and I don't, he offered, he said that he, if they wanted a more, you know, detailed, you know, he can go out and lay it out and see what actually, uh, you know, ground this draw it up or however you wanted to do it or just, you know, kind of look and see what we have and go from there. Uh, he did have one concern. Uh, on 9th Street, we have our, one of our main storm sewers that run east and west down through there and uh, would be within that area of, uh, you know, the north well particularly. And uh, that's a concrete pipe and the, the joints are not, you know, a rubber gasket or anything. And he said anything picked up upstream from anywhere in town where that storm sewer would go by, you know, there's always that possibility of, you know, whatever's in there seeking in into the ground and uh, you know, could, could influence the, the, the well there. So he said that's just a concern, you know, are we going to you know, put a new line in it? I don't think so, but he just wanted to share that was a, you know, that, that's an area that, that he would have a concern with here regardless of what we did with the orange angles. So I don't know how detailed or what we want to do or next step would be to, uh, sorry I didn't. <laughs> So anyway, so I don't know what you want to do or what the next next step uh, would be on this. So I this is just me personally. I'm sick of some of the stuff that I see and smell all the time. I'm sick of it with the large animals. But I also have a concern about you know the nitrates and such, and that's why. Um, Mel brought this to our attention, so I'm not asking for anything to be done now other than to take in the information and, and think about it and maybe keep it on the agenda, see if there might be some changes that we would all like to see. With the large animals? Concerning the large animals. Yes. Uh, yes. 
He promised and he still hasn't done it yet. Yeah. One of them has. What? When you did the animal ordinance, what was the issue there with the, after five years? We, no, but is there a relation? Grandfather, is someone, grand, are they grandfathered? Yes, in? anyone that was, had a large animal area that fell in the definition of a large animal area in existence at the time of the new ordinance, or even if that property had ever had large animals on it, would be considered a large animal area. Until a property so, owns it, a, an owner owns a property who does not have large animals, and then it does not, it is no longer a large animal area. But, okay, so they're allowed at that point. 750 square feet per animal. animal. Which, yeah, well, some of that you're going, what? Yeah. So there we go with the code enforcement thing again. Mm -hmm. But this, this may be, like I said, just something to think about and a topic for another time, especially when we have Don here mm -hmm. to, to help us a little. And, and the nitrates issue as well. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. we need to know that stuff. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, you know, even if we put treatment in, it you know, the, the, more, the more nitrates in the water, the more it costs us to remove. So there's a, you know, a degree of, of uh, expense there, the higher the nitrates. And it may not even be from these particular areas. You know, it, we really don't know exactly, you know, we know the general area where they're coming from, but it could be much farther away. But there's still anything close is definitely could influence. Adding to it. Adding to it, yes, that's right. So do you want me to move that to old business next time? Do you want to keep that on there? I would like to keep it on there, but that's okay. No, I think we should keep it on there. Mm -hmm. And I would also like to talk about, have we done anything, I mean, on the next meeting, have we done anything out on the water treatment? Yes, I've been in uh, contact, had uh, meetings with uh, Don. Mm -hmm. Okay. Several times. Had so a half hour update. meeting with him the day before yesterday. And uh, so we're exchanging information. Uh, have to remember he started from zero. And yeah. uh, so uh, he's up to speed now, pretty much. Uh, so they're heading that way. He, he didn't constantly be top. Uh, maybe, possibly, the first meeting in June, maybe. He might have something. I, I told him not to rush into this because we want good numbers. Yeah. You know, another two weeks, you know, I, I just told him I wanted to you know, feel confident. And I'm sure what he's going to bring to council uh, after that, he may want to, you know, with your feelings, you know, maybe the direction to go. I and mean, right now we're looking at routing for piping and uh, location of the plant and, uh, you know, various issues. So we, even, if we talked about uh, you know, our, our, how we're going to control our wells, you know, he recommended getting away from the telephone and the radio. So that's that's all things that we're working out what we want to do. Uh, extra storage has been brought up. You know, that's been talked about in the past. Uh, so there'll be several things addressed, and then it'll be a, kind of a fine tuning of the information to decide uh, what we'll, where we'll go from there. So yes, it is definitely on ongoing. Okay. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, thanks, Jackie, as well. Um, possible special meeting for the 25th and the 26th. That still is a go, Council. So um, I can't give you any specific time for which day it is. Um, Good luck finding us. <laughs> yeah, I'll be gone on the 25th. I think I told you that. Yes. I'm also going to be gone on the next meeting. You'll be off the 26th, too, Jackie? And you'll be off the 25th. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All day long, or would evening work for you? Not, not day, not no, nothing. Uh, evening will work for me on the 25th or the 26th. Okay. 
and the 26th no Jackie. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you know, That's tough. I would like for all of you to be here. So if, if it works, I mean, yes. That would be great to have everybody here. And you're talking evening on the 25th, like what time would you get, or what time would you be around? Everybody else would probably work out any time after that. Yeah. Uh, 25th is on Wednesday. 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 Yeah, that evening. Okay. If it's for me, it probably have to be. Okay. It, that's just. Okay, well, I'm just so trying to get some time and stuff. <laughs> because you don't have to work the next day. Doing it Monday night, everybody has to get up and work the next day. Mm -hmm. So well I'd make a motion to um, allow fireworks from noon Sunday to midnight Sunday night and then all day on All day being 7 a.m. to midnight, mm -hmm. as stated. Any more discussion? 
All yeah. second death. I'm sorry, my bad. Any more discussion now? What do we do if um, weather won't allow? I mean, I'm just asking, I guess it's probably not part of the discussion, but it is very dry. What? Who decides that and when and how? You know, what happens surrounding um, weather? <laughs> <laughs> and, Mike, is that called? I think yeah. Be the party breaker. Ask them two guys down there that love for the July. <laughs> Well, we usually have one weather it's wet or dry, so. As far as night works, though, you won't put anything on it if if it's really dry. Are you going to let them do night works? Is that something you would consider if we something you would have to consider later down the way? Yeah, I mean, if we've got some rain, I don't think it'd be a big issue. But if we don't get any rain till then, it might be an issue. Because a lot of those about. embers do hit the ground. Right. You can't tell. I mean, you can't make that call now. I right. Right. that. I just didn't know how. Well, and we've done it too, where I think it was pouring one Fourth of July evening, <laughs> and I do believe um, Chief and I made that call ourselves to have Fourth of July the next day and let the kids shoot their fireworks off, meaning the fire chief, not the police of chief, but the fire chief. Because he's a big kid as well, and he likes <laughs> <laughs> So, anyways, in, in that stipulation, if there is a downpour of rain, then we always extend it to the next day so they can light up their fireworks. So, but if it is dry, we will call for a special meeting or make that decision so everybody knows ahead of time. So, okay. Troy, was there a reason that you uh, was going to do it on Saturday morning? If you're reminded. No, I just opened it up to the weekend. Oh, maybe you'd heard somebody was having a party you wanted to do on Friday night or something. No, I, I never hear any parties are. <laughs> You're not enough fun. You just have yeah. kids, so we know what it's going to be. <laughs> Shoot off fireworks, please! <laughs> okay, so the motion on the table is from noon Saturday. Sunday. Or Sunday, my bad, sorry. Sunday to 12 o'clock. And on Monday from 7 to 12. So noon to midnight on Sunday and 7 a.m. to midnight on Monday. Yeah. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, All those opposed say no. No. And I will remind everybody please make sure you clean up the street, clean up your stuff out of the street. Please, please, please. Plug the gutters. Make some ass. You know, can I say something, man? Yes. <clears throat> Is there anything against shooting along the square? No. You know, years ago when I was a kid, that's where we were shot them all, right here on the square. No, I mean, we've done it before on a celebration when the kids have won state. I don't think you want people on top of each other, though. No, and you're not, I mean, oh, yeah, there's, there's lots of trees, Bobby. Oh. There's lots of trees in the square, and it's really hard to see the fireworks display. Is that what you're talking about, the fireworks? No, we used to come up here get firework, or fire 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 and sit on that wall over there and throw fire crackers in the street <laughs> day, all day long when I was a kid. No, I don't know. Now you'll get them. Now you get a measure. No, I don't think there's anything that says they can't. They can shoot off firecrackers well, and throw them. For some reason, the kids were run off of the square some years ago. And I don't know why that is. But, but that square used to be the meeting place years ago. My mom never let us out of the yard. Gilly Osborne, Mike Osborne was. He was a child of all that. He snuck off because we didn't get to leave. But no, I don't think. That's good to know. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, if they're abusing the situation where they're a nuisance to other people, then that's different, you know. But oh, Rick Wallace got his fingers blown off with him, maybe. Well, <laughs> maybe he was full. I mean, he blowed up a car with a bunch of hey, Bobby. in the back Hey, Bobby. <laughs> We're talking about little firecrackers here. Okay? 
No give me ideas out there. That's what the media is all about. They come up here doing Roman candle wars, then they're probably going to get run off, Bobby. Yeah, I mean, David has to back for them. Okay, let's uh, move on. Okay, so we're going to do 4th of July on Sunday and Monday. Sunday noon to midnight. Yes, yes. Thanks, Council. Okay, city code regarding drinking establishment. Letters from Patty Waters. And on your table you had yes. yeah. the orders. June 7th meeting. Welcome to June 7th meeting. You got me down. Well, that was probably just my note because I thought maybe, I didn't know we were <laughs> going to get this today. Oh, uh, so I thought we would be discussing it at the next meeting. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so is the, uh... Yeah. Maybe we'll be. Is it? I will be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Tonight. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
events. And that's stuff. what she's wanting it for. So yeah. right. when she has a party or something that comes up short notice. So she she's going to have to give reason to, to Jill and Sunny and, and for the request. And, and then she needs to start posting too that when they want to have a party like that, that they need to be more on top of. So I think she has a lot of the same ones. I mean, I don't know that. I have no idea. Well, and I think a lot of them in the past has been more of the Hispanic people. And well, and so, we do have two weeks in between meetings, so somebody may not have planned a birthday party or right. something. Right. With, and yeah, so, and, I mean, and that's what I was wondering about the 70, 72 hours. I mean, I mean, if anything, I think that I think maybe long for her. That's what I'm thinking. You know, if it went to 48 hours, it may be better. I think I think 48 hours would be better. Mm -hmm. Well, give, give her <coughs> yes, yes, you may. As far as the uh, like the 72 hours and stuff, lots of times if, if we know that she's going to be having a, a party, as specifically the Hispanic dances, where there are a lot, a lot of people there, the more time she's required to do it allows us time to tr to get staff moved around if we need to have more than one person on duty. Because I've been in, well, it doesn't matter if it's Hispanic or a bunch of white folks. Mm -hmm. I mean, walking in and missing a bunch of drunk people by yourself with a gun on your head isn't a whole lot of fun. Right. So, right. I would, my opinion would be to leave it at 72 hours. Adequate or time for you to be able to. And I can see that completely. And I think if Don didn't feel comfortable with less than that, we ought to take that into consideration too. Yeah, Don must talk to Sonny about it. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. I still like to do it this okay. time so I can just. Read it in quiet. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'll second. Jack motion to turn. Okay. okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. Thank you. I'll move to adjourn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who seconded the table? Um, Bobby. Oh, that's right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good.